Hi, welcome to Janine. I'm a spiritual medium. This is my YouTube um, I guess channel. <laughs> it's been a while. Sorry I've been away, everybody. I've been trying to get a video for so long. And then I got sick with COVID. And I've been out for like two weeks. And then um, Mercury retrograde has hit. So it's been kind of slow in trying to get this out. But the spirits had definitely have a message. And they really wanted me to share this. This is something I picked uh, I think it was Monday, and this is something that fell out, and they've been wanting me to do this video. And with everything that's been going on this week, and, you know, Mercury retrograde, and I, I think a great Venus is going direct or something like that, or retrograde, I'm not sure. But um, there's a lot of energy going on, and this is a new year, so, and this is a year of six. So they're saying the year of six is a harmony, joy. So we were in the last year, was the year of change, five. And so this year is a year of six, and we're in a year of love, uh, joy, harmony, bringing things into balance, um, a lot of shifting going on. And the first card that flew out, and they want me to go more into a little more detail, so there's going to be a little more of a reading. And they're also just saying just to, you know, sit back, relax, take it in. If it resonates, you're going to resonate, you're going to feel it. And if you don't, just take what you need and, you know, leave the rest. Um, this is a general reading, so they're saying that not everybody's going to get it, but this is a message straight from Spirit, and I guess a lot of us that have been going through Dark Night of the Shadow or, you know, Dark Night of the Soul, this is our time for really breaking free and really moving out of it and moving forward, and I think a lot of you have been feeling this. I know I have, I have been feeling this, um, and each of it, they're saying, has been a choice. It's a choice that we've been holding on to. It's a choice that we can move forward. And it's up to us to create our lives. So it was kind of funny. And what the first card that flew out was creativity. We are the world in existence. I got so much from this one. And I really had to share this out and get this out for other people. And they really wanted, they have been pushing me to get this out like all week. Um, I just kept bumping into delays and I'm really sorry. But this is the message. And um, they're just saying... Um, uh, some of them are saying it's like it's timeless this is going to be a timeless reading so I'm hearing this is going to be a timeless one so whenever you see this and you resonate with it this is your time for hearing it so this is what I was getting okay here we go um the first card I got was creativity um for the creativity it's like a lot of that I was hearing that a lot of us need to start getting into our creative mold we need to start creating our life creating um whatever artistic ability you have to start getting into that a lot of us are opening up psychically you know spiritually we're getting more grounded um you're receiving messages you know clairaudiently and clairvoyantly some of them through dreams There's so many different ways you may be receiving information but a lot of people are waking up psychically and they're saying that um start using your creative gifts start pushing forward you know start using those gifts to help others uh, there's so many healers out there and uh, whatever way you're supposed to be using your your skill your creative gifts is to start creating your life start making every little bit of your life um, whatever you do like for me I'm a spiritual medium so I need to make every day of my life as a spiritual medium what does that entail well you know meditating journaling you know I like to burn my incense it helps me to feel more grounded and makes me feel more spiritual I guess you know lighting my candles because everything is, is with intention everything is magic so it's just using your skills um, create your life you know everything you do even when you make your coffee uh, you're, you're putting it, you know, when I do it, I always circle it and I'm mixing it and I'm always saying, you know, with this, I bless my coffee with white light and love. It sounds stupid, but it helps bless my coffee and it helps me to feel like, you know, the coffee is going to be doing for me what I need it to do and not just for as a stimulant, but, you know, just to bless it as well. So cause it's not going to be as harmful to me as if I hadn't and blessed it. Everything is with intention when you light an incense. That's also with intention of, you know, blessing your house with white light and love. Candles, same thing. You want to bless the area with white light and love. Um, you know, cleanse the darkness. You know, get rid of the dark shadows. So, in the next one is we are the world. So, start using your gift with the world. The uh, world card was also, um, I was getting different messages with this one. It's like really connecting with the outside world, connecting with your light worker team. You'll start meeting more of your people, you know, more people who need you. They're going to be start guiding towards you. Um, you just you sharing your light. But I'm also seeing that 
through by using your creative skills, you're going to be helping other people as well. And that's connecting everything, which was an existence, which also this is a different meaning. So from this one, I'm also getting like wishes becoming true. Wishes are coming true. Um, a falling star. When you make your wish, that wish you had made, it's going to start coming true. This is time to make things happen. Existence also means for me in this one, it was like using your creative skills with the other light workers and people you're going to be meeting and existence is we are all one you know we are connected with god we are with spirit we are with the world um we are the world so i just feel like a lot of people are going to start connecting with their tribe they're going to start meeting other people you know like yourselves but it's really time to start creating our lives let's really start creating what we're supposed to be doing that one's about ready to fall out and in a sense okay so there's so much message, um, information that I'm, I have to slow down. There's so much information I'm receiving. It's like it's really time for us to start stepping out into the world, um, making a wish coming true. Maybe, maybe uh, by doing your, your purpose, you're going to be you know, creating your life. You're going to get that yeah, house you wanted or something, you know. Um, through your creativity, you're going to have much success, you know, within, I say, within six months, six weeks. But it's like it's coming, you know, it is coming. You know, being in the world is innocence. You know, remember when we were kids and, you know, I know for me, grasshoppers didn't freak me out. Um, but I would look at it and it's like, wow, that's so interesting. That is so in awe and it would be so, you know, entranced with how God would create things. Not that young, but I mean, later on, I would think on this, you know, how intricate God made so many different things, you know, and, you know, how God made different animals and different species and how we're all connected. It's just blows my mind. But they're just saying also just treat everything as um as a newly born kid would or you know looking at life through enthusiasm through success you will be looking at life through the innocence and like you'll colors are going to be vibrant they're saying colors are going to be start showing themselves uh life is going to seem more uh fluid or not yeah fluid flowing they're saying because things are going to be more balanced you're going to be doing your purpose you're doing what you're supposed to be doing so, oh, definitely, yeah, through all this success and through the world, being, you know, treating the world as innocent, uh, looking at your eyes through things as, you know, innocence, you know, I know there's a lot of chaos going on right now, but they're saying to turn that in and go into your inner world, make that into what you don't, I mean, I know we don't want to see what's going on out there and all the homelessness and, you know, we can't turn a blind eye to the rest of the people, but they're saying to not take that in as, you know, such a, as harsh as we would because we're human you know we have to remember we're spiritual beings too and we're here for just the earthly experience it's not really what we really proclaim as bad as we think it is because when we go home we're going to look at all this and go oh wow you know that was we had such a life we experienced so much and what we did in being as a earth as a human um through all this and being the existence of making a wish coming true and being connected with source being the master you're gonna be the master of your own mind you're so psychic you're so intuitive and it's really time to start using those skills to start using that gift um sharing it with the world being creative you know it's like uh it's so wow uh, so it's so interesting let me see what else i'm getting yeah it's, it's like existence is being connected with source god and you know making a wish coming true but you're making a wish and coming true because you're using your gifts you are the master of your mind. You are the master of your life. And it's time to start creating it as you want to. How do you want your life to be in five years, two years, six months? You know, who do you want to be? Start using your gifts. You're very intuitive. And, they're mess and the angels are saying that they're trying, they've been trying to talk to you. They're giving you messages. Uh, but it's up to you to open your mind and you know, and really receive that information. Um, let's see what else. feel like this is like a big year for a lot of us to really start moving forward um, to start creating that life you know getting out of the past getting out of our heads start moving forward a lot of healing being done we've been grounding out our mind our heart and our solar plexus and bouncing everything out because we hold so much in our solar plexus you know it's like for me i hold a lot in my solar plexus and that's where i need to heal from so that's where i get my confidence from and when you heal that area, and that's when you start having more confidence within yourself um, and balancing out the mind, you're not overthinking, going within the heart, you know. Um, 
the suppression is over, healing a lot from the suppression. We've been holding back, holding in, isolating, and it's time to start breaking free from that. There's been so much healing going on, and they're saying it's just it's time. It's time to really let the past go. This is the time for the new year to bring in what you really want for your life. What do you want to do for yourselves? Oh, gosh. Wow, these two just flew out, too. Okay, so definitely this is going in from the healing harmony as i was saying that we're healing from the suppression it's saying balancing out the mind with the heart stop overthinking going within the heart start thinking with the heart stop thinking of the past stop thinking of the future stop worrying of the future just you're overthinking and we need to stop overthinking we need to get grounded we need to get balanced we need to start acting we need to stop you know isolating and suppressing ourselves or watching too much youtube and getting drowned out and forgetting what we're supposed to be doing it's time to move forward it's start time to really balance all this out we're bringing that all that in and we're bringing in harmony we're bringing in the harmony into our lives because we're creating it. We're letting the past go. We are creating what we want to move forward into our future. Who are you supposed to be? Who do you want to be? What are you supposed to be doing? Do it. This is time. This is time to really start moving forward. And through that, it's through sharing. You're going to have so much gifts. You're going to be bringing in so many gifts. You're going to have so much gifts being brought back to you that by sharing, you're going to be giving more. And by giving more, you're going to be receiving more too, is what they're saying. Um, but they're saying to really start um, sharing your, your gift, sharing your healing, sharing you know, what you've been through and, you know, what is it your message is supposed to be coming forward. It's time to share it because you need to share your message and it's very important. And I think this falls for me for, for team for me as well, too. Um, all right. So I wasn't sure which way we were going to be going, but I guess I really wanted me to stick with these cards and I'm not going to do the angel one. So I'm just going to do the, um, some crystal, uh, see what the crystal healing Oracle has to say and give us some, crystals that we should be using to go through this to transition from this um to help us move forward and start creating you know making that wish coming true what crystals would be really helpful for us to be using at this time like i said i always like to wait for them to leave me messages a lot of times the following cards are the straight messages from spirit. And I just really like when they say it directly first. <laughs> and I have nothing falling out. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. as I say that. <laughs> so we got ground. Okay, of course. So we need to get grounded. And through that groundedness is where we're going to be able to really start moving forward. Because when you're grounded, you are moving with um, you know, positivity and assuredness and strength and that courage that we have. So using smoky quartz is going to be really good in helping us staying grounded. Um, so start using smoky quartz, you know, help, you know, keeping yourself more grounded down into, you know, who you're supposed to be doing. It's going to really help us to also remove that negative energy they're saying as well. Uh, the next card that flew out, oh, ancestors, how beautiful is that? Uh, Preseli Bluestone. So they're saying by using Preseli Bluestone, it's going to help you to bring in your ancestors to also help move you forward. Your ancestors are there to help you and they're here to help guide us. And we need to start calling on our ancestors. So they're saying that we should be using Preseli Bluestone. Oh, what a beautiful stone. I believe it might be this blue one in there. I'm not quite, yeah. Such a, I got to look that one up. I've never heard of this one myself. So I'm going to be looking this one up too. Um, and I'm also going to be doing another video about Shadokite. I did a video, but it, I don't know what happened. It got deleted, so I have to redo it all over again. So sorry. Uh, but anyway, so they're saying to use this. And I believe because it, what I'm receiving is that um, the Purcelli Bluestone is going to help us bring in our ancestors, our angels. And they are here to help guide us and to help give us information that I'm hearing. They made a pact with us. And... When we had, when we started over, overthinking, and we let our guard down, and we start receiving the information, then that's when they're there to help us. And the stone is going to help us to receive that information with our ancestors. The next one came out is passion. Start using the ruby record keeper. I think it's just a ruby stone, um, but it's a 
it's going to bring in passion. It's going to help bring in the passion to help move you forward, to give you the passion, the positivity, the creativity to really start creating your life, to start creating what you really want in your world. And the other card, uh, of course, we all need more fun. So they're saying to use orange calcite. Get some orange calcite to bring some more fun into your life because our, you know, our lives is supposed to be fun. We're supposed to be having fun with our world and our life. So, you know, get some orange calcite and that will help to bring some more fun, creativity into your world. We need to start creating our life. Um, and it's so interesting the ancestors card fell out because right before I started the reading, I had called in my ancestors. I said, you know, uh, how did I say it? I am calling forward my ancestors and my angels and my guides to help me with my reading, to help say the right thing and the right information that's coming forward. And it's so interesting that the ancestors card fell out. So for me, that was confirmation that they're listening, that they are here. And, you know, they're saying that we need to start having more fun and to use the ruby. Uh, I have the stone too. To start using the ruby car, uh, stone, uh, rough ruby, um, to start bringing in that passion, to bring in that creativity, to give you that uh, spark, you know, that, that uh, spunkiness, that feistiness that help you, not really feisty, but just to bring in that passion, um, to bring in that passion of what you want to do. Like for me, you know, doing YouTube videos, doing, you know, pick a card readings, you know, getting that creativity skill, you know, since I've been, um, I think since the new year, I think after I got over COVID and I could think more clearly, I was getting a lot of downloads and I was getting a lot of creative uh, ideas of what to do for readings and how to make it more interesting and to do more. And the one thing they're really telling me is to start doing this every day, you know, of course, you know, but um, I'm starting to feel it more than whereas before I kind of felt like I was being pushed into doing it. And now I'm feeling the creative spark coming in and where what my gifts is to helping people. And for me, it was like also comparison. You know, they're saying to stop comparing. You know, there's so many great YouTube videos out there with other people. And I, I don't feel like I'm all that great. And so they're saying by um, stop comparing myself to others because my gifts are different than everybody else and everybody else has different gifts and everybody has a different ways of doing things and I'm me and to stop you know just comparing myself to other readers you know so that was a really big lesson for me as well so it's just really getting myself more grounded and we all need more grounding especially if we're overthinking like for me and over healing you know we're healing a lot from our past lives and um you know past lives and inner child and childhood trauma things like that so when you're healing a lot it sometimes we forget to have fun and they're saying with the orange calcite to really it's time to start having more fun and to get the orange calcite and uh the rough ruby and the preselli blue stone i am so excited about looking that one up kind of like reminds me of labradorite so anyway i hope you enjoy this reading i hope you come back i hope this really um, it helps you um, and guides you more like it has me. This has been really fun. I really enjoyed it doing it this way and um, just listening to your spirits and just stepping aside and really listening to them. It's been a journey and we're all going through it. And I'm also hearing too that a lot of us, if we don't start acting, if we don't start putting action into our gifts, that it's like I feel like it, the sense of that we're going to go back to the old ways. Like we're going to go back to sleep kind of feeling. So I feel like this is like imperative that we start doing it. If you're getting that push, you're getting that nudge, it's time. So I really wanted to get that out there because I have been feeling that way. And I just, this information I'm receiving, they're just saying that if I don't do it now, that I'm never going to do it. And I'm going to go back to sleep basically, or go back to 3d. So I really felt this push. So it's really interesting this week. I've had extra readings too um on the side so it's been you know like they're pushing me they're showing me signs that i'm meant to start doing this or if i don't i'm never gonna do it so if you're feeling that way too start this is your push this is your little edge to get you going and you need a little poke in your booty so i hope you enjoy this i hope this really helps and it resonates with you and if it does you know please hit the thumbs up that really helps and uh, you know i've been trying to grow this channel it's been growing so much too thank you guys so much i saw it appreciate every one of you so much. I never thought I would even get up to 95. Um, 
but thank you guys so much and uh be looking out for new ones i'm going to try getting them out more daily or every other day but i'm going to start getting them more focused and you know getting them everything out there okay so enough from me you guys have a great day have a blessed day meditate get grounded get those stones that's going to help us you have a blessed day bye-bye